As the nation pauses to honor its veterans today, a unique tradition was taking place not far from Capitol Hill. But uh, this one did not involve politicians or a big ceremony. Instead, it brought together generations of those who served to enjoy each other's company. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford was there. At American Legion Post 8, yes, the eighth oldest in America, Veterans Day is extra special. Vets are busy in the kitchen, while at a park across the street, locals and out-of-towners who drop in every year come to reflect with players from the Marine Band and Army Color Guard and, well, Capitol Hill neighbors of every age and stripe who come to honor the vets. Don't become disconnected from the citizens, is what the main speaker told them. To avoid that, I would ask each of you to share your story. Share your story with your friends. And there were lots of stories. The Vietnam vets from Monroe, Michigan, who come to D.C. every year. It's a feeling you can't buy. It's just, it's great being a veteran and being appreciated. These guys. We're all brothers. All brothers. But you came from everywhere, huh? Yeah. Yes. Do you do this every yes. year? DC. Every year. Last yeah. year. You know, a country that I'm very proud of. Very proud of. They remember the wars in which they serve, salute the flag, sing the patriotic songs, and then they line up at post eight because it is time to eat and these folks can cook. Chicken, roast beef, for vets and neighbors who have relatives who are vets. Air Force, mm -hmm. like my aunt and my uncle. And the vets here from the Afghanistan to the Korean War love this. I appreciate that fact, you know, which is good, that we're finally being recognized. So there were many grand ceremonies in this country today commemorating Veterans Day and an intimate ceremony here at Post 8, which, by the way, is celebrating its 91st year this year. Reporting from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.